Hello everyone! I know that many of you want to make a color engraving on metallic surfaces. And here we have something to show you today. So this is a metallic plate, I'm sure that you know it from a hard disk drive. It's fully reflective and you can even see me here. And now I'm going to tell you how you can uh, get different uh, colors. So uh, I made a few examples and now we will repeat uh, these, uh, these tests right now. But here is the thing. So uh, to get very accurate and full color of metal engraving you need to have a special surface. So usually it, it should have a, a very good oxidation. So the thing is that when the laser heats the surface, uh, the temperature, dif uh, the difference of temperature makes different color, and uh, usually it's it's not a big problem to make it on fiber laser because you can change power, you can change energy, and you can change repetition rate, which is frequency of your pulses. On our 10 watt DPSS laser, unfortunately, we do not have that because it's more affordable unit, so it has a passive Q switching. Passive Q switching does not allow you to generate uh, different energy and the frequency and pulse width is usually quite stable. So uh, you'll ask me how did I make this then? So the nuance that uh, you can actually do it by changing uh, focus uh, of the laser and changing power. So uh, I'm gonna to show you a few tests. Uh, so you start when your laser is unfocused, the, the focus is above the plate and uh, under a plate. So we, we will go like one step uh, to another, just uh, changing, changing, uh, focusing. And uh, we'll also make um, different, different power. So let's, uh, let's see uh, how it's, how this thing will work probably we're gonna start it from from here I'll turn on the laser so we start with minimum power three uh, percent okay everything is ready And the speed is uh, 2500, 2500 uh, millimeters per minute. Okay. Starting it now. Okay, I'm over it. We'll move a little bit higher. And you see that it, even the laser starts uh, make makes different different noise. Yeah, I'm using lifting table to uh, to move to move the plate. And also for every single material you would probably need to have your own parameters because it's really it really depends on the type of uh, on a type of metal you're using. Okay, we're done with first row. Let's put it here. Now let me increase the power. So now it was three percent. Let's make it twenty-five percent. We have the same speed. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's quite noisy. Because now it's actually in focus. And we got very dark color.
Yeah, the good thing that even with 10 watt DPSS and passive Q switching, you can get some some nice colors. Not all rainbow colors. Well, actually, for specifically for this uh, material, maybe you can find some some materials that will have uh, different different color. Yeah, not not. Oh yeah, it's still engraving. Because now I'm completely out of focus. Okay, let's see our both uh, results. So yeah, this is like more dark and blue. This is like more, but, but also depends on the angle. So this is like more silver. This is like more yellow. We got even this. You can hardly see it uh, with your naked eye, but here you can you can see it quite quite well. And this is also interesting color. So uh, so this is a short demo that you can do uh, color engraving on 10 watt DPSS laser and. Uh, you can change color just by changing laser power and changing its uh, focusing. So just move it up and down from your focal point and you see you can get some, some nice colors. So hope that you like this video. Please share it with your friends and if you have any questions let me know. Uh, visit our website endurancelasers.com, our online store endurance-lasers.com. Stay safe and have wonderful experience with color metal engraving with Endurance 10 watt DPSS laser model. Bye bye!